Hello and welcome back, I'm Beeble Joe and this is War Crescent Resources Soviet Republic Season 8 Trash Maintenance Realistic Mode. Today we're gonna figure out if I way overextend it. We're at zero ruble, $500,000. I hope that's enough. So I ran it until I had no more money and as you can see we're still trying to construct things but stuff is just not happening and I wanted to do a thing, but I cannot get gravel out of this full gravel pit without power. So we have to take out our first loan. Um, it's just going to be a tiny one. 10,000 honesty is probably fine. I just don't know when I'm going to pay it back. So I'm even going to make this a really, really long uh, payback period. The problem is we're not producing anything, so I can't pay anything back. So I have to take out more loans every time to do a thing. But right now, amount due tomorrow, five. I hope that's good enough. I don't know. <laughs> um, but the only thing we're doing here is just get power so we can move these things around. And thinking about that, is this a good idea or should I've just left it uh, picking up from the border? I don't know, but it's fine. Um, and at the same time, we also have these guys still picking up our foreign workers to do the things that still need to be built because the city is not quite ready yet this one actually should get higher priority we have everything delivered already we just need some workers we have some stuff on the ground that's clearly clearly not done yet one of them is the, the sewage stuff we can give that one some higher priority but we're getting pretty close we're getting pretty close we got really a lot of stuff done um there's mostly wires that are left a little bit of plumbing and roads. The roads are actually high priority right now. Why? Because there are these roads. I would like to get to the NATO house so we can start importing things from NATO and see if that will hold us above water. <laughs> Hard telling. Um, but yeah, it's our loan is currently paying itself, which is not not a good thing. Um, but we're we're getting close. We're getting close to getting something done. And honestly, once I can turn on this city, we can... Is, is there anything missing? Yes, water. No, wait, water is here, right? Yes, water is here. There's a water tower over here. Yeah, everything is ready. Um, all we need is workers. And that is honestly really, really, really good news. Without drinking water, because we're not producing it. Without power. Okay, that's a problem. We can fix that. Gotta fix it. Where is... Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> I was, I was under the impression that I did have a power connection there. Um, I was just, I was just thinking it was somewhere else. There's only one more outlet here, and I believe this guy is also without power. Yes. So how about we do this to keep you happy? Let's give you a medium voltage switch right here. No, actually, it can be out, um, out in the boonies. Should I run that over there? No. We can run this one really close to um, where the where the where the um, railroad. That's the word <laughs> where the railroad is going. So this should be fine. Is that over here a switch or a? It's a switch. Okay, good. Doesn't require power. That's that's very good. But yeah, we only have one left there. That is not good enough. So I have to figure out a way to actually get some more power in here. The other problem is power is a little expensive to build. So should I? Well, we need we need the heat pump. We need the heat pump to work. So I don't really have a choice on that. Let's get this medium voltage switch out here. Um, plop you just somewhere. It's fine. Um, give me a medium voltage wires that run all the way to here. Perfect, beautiful, uh, nice straight line. And then one that will run on the outside of our rail thing. And that will keep that happy. We need this one. Sure, you can you can connect to multiple things. Um, that is not really a problem. Is there something we can... There is something we can trigger over here. Um, knowing that, I think will be a lot healthier. Sorry, it's night. A lot healthier if we place this in a location that actually covers more of the city because there's no good reason to um, omit that. So let's get, get rid of this so we can actually build this thing the right way. No, you gotta look this way. Should I put you here? Sure. Let's put you here. Um, road connection there. I, I don't remember if these guys, if these um, power lines, not not power lines, but power substations, uh, switches, can actually 
um, catch fire. I, I don't know if they can. They, they may, but I, I don't remember. So I guess there is that. But now that thing is connected and all of these lines, power lines just go into the city. For industrial things, I highly recommend not going cheap on your power lines. Just use the biggest ones you have and uh, run it all the way out here. That looks good. Put you next to the station. No, don't put you next to the station. Uh, mm. <laughs> I would like to get here, but I don't want to block too much of my uh, factory connections that we're currently not using. But honestly, um, needs must. So, oh, come on. Uh, we can figure this out. Cancel wires. That one. Make this happen. Yep, put it right there. And then in here. Oh, come on. C come on. This way? Come on. <laughs> I don't want to double pile on there. I, I don't care what you say. I don't want to double pile on there. Uh, sure. There you go. Be happy. That's fine, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now that can all get built, and that's great. Is this one actually connected? Yes, it's connected to a road, so they're happy. We have the bridge done. Uh, the pedestrian bridge is not done, but we can triple check here. Gosh, I don't like that I'm right on the border here because I can never go back. Uh, but let's check this. Everything is connected. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted to do. We can still figure out if we want to make this happen or not. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to say yes. Yes, we do want this to happen, just not... Um, at the angle that we have there, F4, and then you can get nice and close here, um, sure. And then we have a little snaky road going down there. That's fine. This doesn't have to get built right away, uh, but eventually we could if we wanted to. And that is something. 4,000. We didn't spend that much money, which makes me a little bit happy. So that's, that's actually good news. That piece of road is done there. This piece of road almost has all the gravel that it needs. I just needed to work a little faster, and that is fine. Then we just have one more sliver of 300 tons of gravel that need to be done. Okay, so far, I still don't know if, if I overextend it. <laughs> I, I, I just don't. It's totally possible that I totally overextend it, but it's also possible that the opposite of that is true. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. No, that's the road that we don't care about. That's this road. Uh, okay, yes, we have power here, so our meat is actually happening there. We have food and chemicals already parked here. Very, very good. I will need... I, I don't think that these are appropriate anymore. I think one of these has to be built, and I think these in-between storages will be helpful. But I need a pickup that is happening here, and I think we can get by with using a mud... Um, a mud technical service office and that will get us done here it's just what do we have here 33 percent perfect um yes one of them should be totally sufficient for everything that we're doing um having one technical service here with like two maybe three waste trucks should be able to uh, collect everything that we have there bring it down here and then we have dedicated trucks from here with some sort of distribution office that will pick up um the trash and bring it to the border i think that will work okay um but to be fair this the slot the the this region is a little further away than i wanted it to be in the beginning so there's that loan ruble um twenty thousand didn't get me very far how about forty thousand <laughs> just to see what happens and return uh the money please there you go and uh cool now 27 dollars due tomorrow the scary part is we still need workers. We still need to import the most expensive and most valuable resource, um, which is workers. And without that, we really can't do anything crazy at all, but that's fine. Now, all of you, once all of this is done, we can get going. This cinema is really the one that I want the most um, because then I can turn the city on. Well, no, we need the sewage to be done too because I don't want to use sewage trucks. It is too dangerous and too easy to mess up something if you use sewage trucks, so I highly recommend not going there. Um, I did put a container stand here, which should be in range of those two buildings, which is important. Um, I do need another container stand that's in range of these two, because I don't think you are currently covered. Are you? Oh no, you can go there. So I just need one that covers these three buildings. Ideally... That would be really nice. So let's see what we can do there. A uh, small container stand is generally more than sufficient. Um, we may need to do something with 
footpath connections here because I think this will just reach the um, the hospital. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Well, actually, if they can, what can we do here? No, you're there. You're there. If we put you, give you a gravel road there, that may help. And if we give you a quick gravel connection over here, that may help too. Yeah, sure, there's fine. Let's see what happens. Would like to see that thing actually get done. And then we are somewhere. <laughs> we, we, we should be slowly getting into the state of actually being able to build this. Now, your problem, I think, is that our cranes are currently otherwise occupied. Where are our cranes? There's one right here. Okay, your problem is that we're currently building way too much, but look at that. It's it's already less. There's already a lot less. And this guy, just get done. <laughs> just just get done. Spend all my money and uh, get the last piece of this, this road done. And I don't understand. Oh, they're actually delivering workers to the roads. I am not a fan of that because that's completely unnecessary. But whatever. Do your thing, game. And, um, well, let's just, let's just get this done. Last one, high priority, because that once that one is done, we have more things that we can do. Really? Really? <laughs> this is... This is problematic on a lot of different levels. Progress of fire is too high. I, I sped up the game and I ignored this, obviously, so... Um, well, that sucks. That sucks two different ways, because one, it destroyed the building. Two, you have to deconstruct the mixed waste first and have to get rid of that. There's our guy. And hey, cool, I got it assigned. And then you have to rebuild it. Not fun, not fun at all. But right now, I guess that is what I get for trying to speed up the game. Oh, well, it happens. Things happen. They're not always pretty, usually annoying, uh, but that's fine. All of these are almost done. That's really cool. I could, um, well, no, I can't because I still need this connection to be done. And let's give me that. Let's give me construction office. Everyone get assigned to this. I don't need the under, uh, the other underground heating pipe, so that should be okay. And yeah, all of this can just be assigned as is. We don't need the storage house at this point. This building is arguably too big for right now, but that's fine. We still need vehicles to actually ship all the things around, but that's a problem for later. For right now, we're just going to get that NATO connection done and it should just take until until winter. I do not want to start. I do not want to start um, the city in the winter. That is that is not worth it. Let's do this twice <laughs> because this we don't have enough money to make this actually happen. Um, return that money. Cool. And 54. No, it won't let me. I think that's what I'm that's what I'm owing because I was a little over. That's fine. But yeah, amount due tomorrow, a hundred. Can we make a hundred bucks? I still don't know. I still do not know. And we could play the game of importing, exporting stuff from NATO and giving it to, um, well, yeah, giving it to the USSR. But I don't know that there is anything that is really worth it. We could get foreign workers from here. That would actually be very helpful, but we have to connect all of these things first. Um, oh, you could import foreign workers and use them in our clothing factory and then export in ruble. Um, that, that would actually make life pretty okay, I, I think. And um, we can also import fabric from the NATO side and bring it to, uh, to our fabric or clothing factory. That would also work and would not require any rubles. So we could start paying back uh, part of the loans that we have. And once we have rolling cash at least we should be in a pretty good position to get everything else done all right stop bringing any workers to the road not cool let's just set it to lowest and just have this excavator do its thing by itself and uh leave me alone how's this going i need someone to be assigned to this please <laughs> i thought it already was but it clearly wasn't so um well as usual it's my fault you I would like you, actually, can we get, is there, mm, we could do that. I don't know that we need it. I just need to be able to connect to this. Now, what is the distance at 124 meters? It should be in range because 130 is all we care about. Now, let's see, can we get the same? No, we can't get a walking distance from here, but we can get one from here. 180 meters, 
I think the uh, chemical, sorry, the water, the wastewater thingy is not going to be included in the range of this guy. But these stands aren't super expensive. It's just a matter of how much do you want your, um, your, what are they called? Technical service trucks to run around and do things. And the answer is not that much. Cool, two cranes, yes. Get me some foreign workers. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's go, we can do this. I would, I would really like to uh, import some citizens, but we, we definitely need cash, and these guys have to get done first. Uh, you are getting done. You're not super important, but you will be important once we need heat. Looks like the power connections are all done. That's that's very good. Yes, we, we are so close. We are so close. I am so excited to actually turn the season on. Five episodes in. That is faster than I expected. That is faster than I expected to start making any money any cash any of that stuff at all obviously there are things over here that i missed again we built that last time but then i forgot that we need to do something um get those assigned and get this assigned you currently don't have a road connection because i did this stuff yada yada yada, yada. <laughs> it's totally fine it's just it i love how easy this game makes it to lose focus over whatever you think you were trying to do in the first place and it's just like oh by the way you also need to do all of these other things and it's just like you know what you're right and i didn't do it and now i'm screwed because hey i didn't have workers in my fire station and i didn't pay enough attention to react to the fire breaking out so that was totally preventable but i did not you are about to be done. Exciting moment. Yes. And now it's almost winter, but that is fine. I am curious if we can get any good vehicles. Yes, 12 tons of crops. That's awesome. 12 tons of steel. Awesome. And they are effectively free. Long haul. Big long haul. Yes. Big fuel haul. Yes. Those are those are all new uh, vanilla vehicles. Uh, refrigerated truck. Sure, it's also a little bigger. Then we have all these containers, then we have all these modded versions. Really just want to have a button to turn all of them off because we don't need them. They, they added so many new uh, vanilla vehicles that I just want to see, uh, but for some reason it's, it's really hard, so that's fine. Anyways, let's get moving. I need this to get set up. Okay, do I want a distribution office or do I want a couple trucks that are dedicated to drop off stuff here? Trucks don't make sense. Here's what we're going to do. For right now um it's not the best way but it's it's what we're going to do right now we are going to put a simple distribution office out here um you spots for be uh, is that the right one distribution office yes was it always just three i thought it was maybe four at some point but i don't remember okay you buy new vehicles um other one <laughs> cool i want stuff refrigerated no um green red yes clothing I want three of you. Beautiful. Look at those. Look at the size of those guys. Then I want you to start importing from here. Very good. I want you to load fabric. Very important. And bring all the fabric all the way over here. Drop it off until, honestly, until it's really full. But what, what is my internal storage? Internal storage is 21 tons and one of you can carry 11 tons. So um, anything more than 30% will be stupid. So we'll just leave that. That feels good. A good start at least. We could start building this, but without money I don't want to do that yet. Okay, the next thing I need is workers. And I know it's dark again, but this is fine. Let's figure out how many foreign workers we can get here. About 24. Okay, okay. Let's get a um, dirt road depot. So we can actually um, buy some vehicles here, like that. And then let's get a bus that is fast enough. Clicking the wrong button again. I need the dollar one. Just used to the other thing. Oh, speed, uh, speedy harvester is what we can get here too. That's great. Uh, bus. What can we get that is vanilla? This is not true. I saw a bus just a second ago earlier. Um, over here. Yeah, that bus. I wonder if the bus is too big for what we need. Uh, sorry, for the customs house here that I can't actually buy it. Or it doesn't fit into here. Either way, um, looks like I can't buy the one that I want to buy there, which is unfortunate. Let's do this again. I don't want I don't want to go to 
mods for this so that may not work let's clear the filter just to make sure that the bus is not available and i think yeah the answer is just yep you cannot use that bus okay there's some pretty vehicles in here but um it's not it's not what we're trying to do it's not not why we're here okay um sat on that long enough what shall we do i need a bus that can hold 23 people at a time and i cannot apparently well let's try i'm gonna buy it Sixteen thousand is really not that expensive for what i have going on here and then see what i can do with you can i send you here none of these bu buildings can be sent to this depot the building is not suitable depot workplace for currently inside um okay can't go there either okay can i send you here hmm it says it's a road vehicle, but I wonder if it's really a, um, I don't know why I can't use it. <laughs> there, there's something wrong about that bus right now. Okay. Um, hi, Snow. So let's get rid of you. Uh, yep. Just sell vehicle for, yeah, you have to pay to get, to get rid of stuff now. So maybe I shouldn't do that. I could try to sell it to the other side, but really can't carry that thing right now either, so that's not helpful. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I would like to send you to the this side and sell you there, but um, I'm not sure that I can do that without being able to get this vehicle out of the... out of the current location. I don't know why I can't send that one anywhere. It feels like it should just be able to at least go to some place, but no, it's it's not playing along. That's fine. Uh, you guys, you are not happy about this. This is this is a little too slow. <laughs> we, we don't need all of this yet, but this is a little too slow for everyone's taste. So how about we get a technical service office on here? Where are you? There. How many free ones do we have left? A handful, that's fine. And this one's only task is to keep, uh, do we have snow plus available? Just mod it once. This one's only task is to keep the road semi open. So if we do that and use the snow plow from the other side, where are you snow plow? Um, you are 4,000, yeah, we can afford that, that's fine. Okay, you come out here and hopefully refuel at a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a good location. So that one is fine. Um, now we just need a bus that we can actually use. So let's see, bus. Um, 52 is too much. What, what did we say? 20, 20 is kind of the, the number that we see a lot. Eight's not gonna work, seven is too small, 60, 52, 80, 40. This one is good, it's just a little expensive in general. Um, but I think we already have one or two of these. I think we have one or two of these, and I'm okay reusing them for the time being because I don't think there is a lot of construction left um, with what we have going on here. There's some microbuses. Don't care about those right now. There are these two. You know what? You two can become my new... That's a construction office. This is a road depot. You two can become my new um, transport crew for, you know, the foreign workers from, from the NATO side. So let's get you assigned. I need you to go all the way out here. Hopefully, even in the winter, it's not too bad with the, with the snow and too slow. So we can actually pick up the people that we want and send you all the way. Let's not risk it. I just want you to work here. <laughs> All the way down there and unload people. Cool. Then send the second one out and obviously get to our line and set up line spacing. They will drive a little slow every once in a while, but with two vehicles, we should be okay. I don't have an end station yet, but there's so many places where we could put an end station in that I'm not terribly worried about that. Um, let's get this one built. Do we have everything underground done that we need to be done with? Almost. These pieces are still in transit obviously and then well there's a sewer pipe that just got done what else do we need we need to make sure that we have stuff here and i think we're getting to the stage now where we need another distribution office oh we have one here very good um here's what we're gonna do 
Can I get one of these trucks? You still have 25 tons. Where's your buddy? Your buddy's right next to you. You also have 25 tons. It would be great if I could tell you um, to just overflow it just a little bit, but I guess that's not really how things work here. So not replace, just change depot. Um, oh yeah, you, you are supposed to go there. Discard cargo, just 130 bucks, shouldn't be that bad. And then I want to tell you to go here, race from line, go here, load, coal. Very good, bring it here. And technically it should produce enough or it should move enough material that this shouldn't cause real big issues. So we'll see how that goes. Are you in walking range of everything? Um, not this one, however, it should be in range. It, it should very much be in range. Walking range, 130 meters. It's just outside of range. Okay. Um, it should, it does not cut it. So if we cut up or if we cut this path a little shorter, um, we should be fine otherwise. There's some more things that we can do that I'm not I'm not a big fan of, but that's fine. But yes, you have about drinking water still. Mm. By the time we get the first crew in here, maybe that's not a real issue. How's this going? Are you are you deconstructed yet? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even close. So I do need another um, skid loader. Where are you? Waste. Yes, I need another skid loader in there that they can deconstruct this faster. Sadly, I cannot do this with uh, dump trucks. That would be great if I could, but I really can't. So we just gotta wait until all of this stuff is done. And um, yeah, we'll just see how all that goes. There's another container and you're going back. There's one more container and cool, 12 tons less. Traffic jam, of course there is. Where's the traffic jam, buddy? Uh, yes, up here. Okay, you're out of fuel. <sighs> Don't love seeing that. Don't love that at all. Okay. Free gas station. Put something down here. Only gonna have this temporary. It's not gonna be a long-term thing. But it looks like they weren't clever enough to fill up before they go out there. So, uh, you. Please bring fuel. And we have to take on another loan here in just a second. Please take fuel up to here. Um, then go here. Loan. Um, let's combine those two and I, I would like to import people but without the water being ready I can't really afford that so let's take you back um, let's take you back okay not enough money for this refund we have 12,000 left well that's what we have and we only have to pay 50 bucks every day okay where is my snowplow why aren't you snow plowing oh you also need fuel perfect <laughs> everything is just perfect so we just have to wait until the um, the fuel tank actually makes it out here. Get a little get a little shot of the landscape. It's pretty, right? Think so too. There's our guy. There's the thing that will make everything work again. Uh, move a little faster. Why is your light not on? There you go. It listened to me. Yes, that's that's what I like to do as leading my republic. Hey, while this thing is driving, Patreon. If you want to see how I struggled through learning the new stuff. Go check it out. Um, there's season seven. If you're wondering why we're in season eight already, there you go. Everyone is doing their thing now, and very good, very good, very good. Everyone's happy, and Snowplow is driving behind the vehicles. That's not optimal, but oh well. So Snowplow gonna catch up? There's a race. Nope. Snowplow says I'm done here. Um, I must have set your range to not three thousand yet. So um, sorry about that. Did it snow again while you were just plowing? That's just silly. There, there is something with the snow that I would really like this game to um, make it more random because right now it's always the same. Like every every three days it snows, almost the same days every year it snows and it's not, not that exciting. I'm just following the snow plow over there. And um, something a little more different would be cool, but I mean, I get it. Let's tell you not to worry about the um, dirt roads, mud roads. Very good. So they can figure it out. Now, we don't have any workers yet, but the next trip, the next bus, we should be able to produce a little bit of workforce. You. Yes. 
Snow about to snow about to melt. I hope so. Uh, 37. There we go. 60. Now we have something plowed. And you're going slower again because snow plow in front of you. Blah 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 blah. That's fine. Um, this could be worse and it could be better. And come on, give me my first workers, please. Yay, 26 of you. And all the way down here. And I'm hoping that by the time I'm done following this this thing around, that our um where are you going? Oh, 21. Uh, our what's it called? Water plant is done. That would be great. But you'll never know. We're, we're wasting so much fuel on these workers. Uh, we need water to actually make this worth it. Otherwise, it's, all of these are stupid investments if this republic is just going to fail. Pretty simple. We'll just have to see. And I, I don't know if I overextended at this point. I think I didn't, but what do I know? Nothing, apparently. Hey, you refueled. Good job. And we're too far away for our workers. I thought they have a 12-hour limit to go out here. Dang it. Okay, where's your other one? Because this may just be a thing that is completely useless anyways. So you're just going out there. It is winter, so winter is not making this easier. You should be able to refuel while you are at the border. That will be helpful. Come on, a little more. A little more. Yes, refuel at the border, and then I want to see if we can get at least a couple workers into the factory. <laughs> but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. We're just going to use this to import our cargo, nothing else. So... There are 21 workers, very good, and now go. I should probably just highlight one of these. Um, you are traveling in vehicle 12 hours. Okay, let's see how far we can get. That timer is also running a little faster than it should, but that's okay. All right, four hours. Let's just, now we're at about half and we haven't made it to our highway yet. <laughs> um, yeah, snow is, just, snow is just a problem in general. Eight hours, we should be able to make it this time. And then you can start producing something. Okay. It's just it's just a little bit out of range, so I guess I can keep this running, especially in the summer. Now, you guys. Buildings without drinking water. 11% production. Woohoo! I, I gotta do something with those dollars, so um, that's what we're doing right now. I can also use the covered hull trucks that we have out there to do something else useful. This one isn't built yet. Why? What is, what is your problem? Everything else seems to be built. Um, is this one reconstructed? Almost. Um, luckily, I don't... No, you, at some point, there was a, a thing where it looked like materials stayed in the buildings and you didn't have to rebuild everything or re-deliver everything, which was weird. But it would have been great if that was the case right now. Obviously, it isn't. So, we'll just have to deal with that. No fire trucks. Uh, what is your range fire trucks anyways? How many more do I need? You actually do cover everything that I care about. I got pretty lucky on that. Yeehaw. Um, that's that's awesome. It covers a lot less in this direction than I would expect, but that's fine. Um, yeah, temperature in buildings too low. Nobody lives here. That's all fine. We have 400 bucks left in the bank. This one is full of coal. We don't have drinking water. All of those things are very accurate. Let's get our last few preparations done because at this point... Um, we can prep for getting the first workers. Let's do this. Yes, it's worker time. Is 500,000 enough? I don't know, but um, only one way to find out. Okay. Winter is over. Perfect. So everything should move a little faster. Once this... Sorry. Once this one is done and once this one is done. And I don't know why this one hasn't been built yet. What do you need? Just need a couple work days and probably a crane. But once that one is done, we can go bananas with workers. Okay, we have some money. Let's fill in the things that we need. We at least need an ambulance, just one. Should be fine. We don't need any of those things. We need to start um, bringing stuff in here. And I need my technical service office, at least the temporary one, to move things around here. So how about we do that? Not Road Depot, technical service office, just the free one. Cool. Putting you here should give us a fighting chance to handle some of the trash. Great. Um, that's a terrible location because you can't do anything from there. <laughs> Just want the angle to be okay enough. There you go, at least straight. Um, I need you to have at least your normal truck. Hold on. Um, can we get anything from here? No, nothing. Nothing trash related yet. Okay. 
I need a skid loader because we have big, tr uh, big, big cans, big things, big canister, big containers. That's what they're called. And at least one small one. We're just going to go with the biggest ones that we have. And that's fine. Um, with that, you can reach everything, right? Yes. Uh, with that, we need to assign where they need to take things to. In the beginning, we probably don't need to, but very soon we will need these to actually be enabled where they can drop off stuff so we can use a, another thing to uh, deliver. Um, and that should be fine. Let's get another distribution office out of here. Technical service, no. I don't know why I'm having so many issues finding the right buildings that I want, but hey, here we are. Um, you... All we need here is just a skid loader, and we already have one sitting right here. We have two sitting right there. I'm hoping that we don't have to deconstruct or um, lose that many buildings um, throughout the rest of the, at least the beginning. Later on, it will just happen. It's not a big deal um, that this will hopefully just work. Buy new vehicles or mechanisms. Do we have anything on the NATO side here? Only mods. Nope. We're just going to go with our basics. Uh, oh, speed 19. Was this updated? It was a 12 before, and this is speed 20. Hmm. Wonder if that is the new... Um, the new script that I talked about in the interview briefly. Would be cool if it was, but yeah, there you go. Get that one in there, and we only have two slots here. I don't know if I want 40 firefighters here. I, I, I do want 40 firefighters. <laughs> I do. Um, so let's get that one in there, too. Now we just need to establish a bus thing. Bus has to happen. How about we do this? Give me a bus platform. Nope. Give me a bus end station. Yep. Um, sure. This one. It actually has an in and an out. It looks like that. I Putting that in front of the city probably makes the most sense. So how about we do this? I like it. You have power. I don't think you need power. But we have this, so now the buses can actually go through here and do the things that they need, are supposed to do. That should be fine. Triple check that there's nothing underneath here that still has to be built. Looks good. You should have power. You don't have power supply. I was told. Um, what? Oh, there's still stuff that's not built yet for the for the power lines. Okay, that. That makes me feel a little better, because if that was a different type of problem, we would be in real, real trouble. Okay, so they can figure out their stuff. This one is getting done. That one's getting done. Cool. How's it going over here? Do we have all of the fab all, the all of the clothes yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> we do not. Um, okay, so with that in mind, I think I will allow a water truck. Water truck. Water? Where's my water? Waste? Water. There you go. One water truck, please. 7,000? No. Three for half the price? Yes. I want to go cheap. Or four and a half for three. Um, why is... Whatever. I like that tank. <laughs> I like that one. Um, let's make this get us some water. Load water. Yes, and later on we can just use it to unload water. Load some water and bring it to... Where's our water substation? This one. Oh, you you can only do... Mm, I don't know if we can deliver this way. I may need a technical service office to do this, uh, but I don't want to do that. So we'll just have to check if this one can do the thing that I want you to do. All right. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Four and a half cubic meters. And... You were able to dump some of that in here, which is perfect because now we have water. So when they actually arrive... We should be able to make some production happening. Um, with that in mind, um, well, I'm, I'm using one of the slots right now for water, which is not ideal, um, but we're, we're really close. Just this thing has to be done. Once this thing is done, we are ready to rock and ready to roll. We could start importing some workers from the, from the NATO side probably and save some money that way, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Can do the same thing with materials and all that stuff, but I'm, I'm reserving a little bit of the NATO money. No, I'm not reserving. It's just, I'm, I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy. I don't want to flip all my things around left and right all the time until things are done and ready. So we're just going to leave this happening the way it is. Are you getting power now? No, you still don't have power. That is making me nervous. Do you have power? You have power. Um, okay. 
no, there's there's still stuff over here that hasn't happened yet. So, um, how about we assign you to higher priority, you to higher priority, and see what happens. I just need a couple work days. <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad to do. You just have to get it done. Ah, uh, what are our construction officers saying? You're saying that there's a little bit of stuff going on. Okay. This is fine. I would like the end station to be start building. That's also fine. It will get stuck there for a little while, but I think we will survive that. Speed up all our things. That's important. Oh, we need a technical service office out here to also collect our trash from what's going on here. So with that in mind, we could just have that water truck sitting in the um, technical service office, but I don't, kind of don't want to do that. I kind of don't want to do that. Where would I put you anyways? There's a big open space here, but that's more like a distribution office that I want to use. So let's see, technical service office. Do I still have any free ones available? Yes. One. I have one more free technical service office available, and I guess that's going to go right here. And, oh, that's, there, there's one standing here already. <laughs> we can just use that one. Um, let's get you just a skid. I don't think the industries that we have have small containers. Let's triple check that. You have that. You're already storing this. Um, here's the thing that we should do. Set your containers to recycle, especially in the industries, and never recycle less than one container at a time. Um, because when they overflow, you will start producing pollution, and that's not good. So um, that's how we get around that, by just setting them to double. You can do the same thing in the city but none of the residential buildings can recycle until I have research done, and that's not going to be done for at least a little while, so you just got to be patient on that. Um, yes, I had a feeling this might happen. Can we get this one done, like, yesterday, please? Uh, you, go home. Okay, next one in. You, go home. Do I only have one parking spot here? Apparently I do. Control H is how you send them home, if, if you didn't know that. Control H. Control H. It's the only problem with one-way buildings, that this always happens, and it's always annoying and never really helpful. Okay, someone send something out to build that little piece of road, please. <laughs> um, not helping. <laughs> not helping my cause. Yes, you, you, you all can go. Get out of here. Get that thing built. I don't know how many parking spots are there. I probably should have picked the bigger one. Which one did I build here? Set the... The small one, okay. And the small one has how many spots? The small one has bus station end. Parking for two. Two buses is not enough. Um, is this going to crash? Potentially. Hold on. Um, let's, let's make a quick save and then we can see if this works. S8E5. Okay. Uh, stop building here because I am no longer a fan of you. And the deconstruction office still has to come out and do something. There's not a lot of stuff sitting here, but there's enough for the construction office to actually have to do something. And then we're just going to use the bigger end station, and that um, should at least be future-proof a little bit, which is important. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're doing great. Should I use explosives? I don't want to use explosives yet. Um, but later on, yes. Um, come on. Come on. You can do it. And we need just two more truck fulls, or two more trucks full of that stuff to actually get rid of this. Temperature is high. That's really good. We just... Okay, when this is done, I think we're done. Because, yes, you should be ready. Okay, here's the next things that we have to do. We have to start delivering stuff to here. How many more distribution offices do I have available? Two. Oh, that, that's, that's a lot more than I expected to see. Perfect. So, let's put them at the source where I actually want them, which is right here. Um, I may just need one to start with. What do I need? I need the distribution office to have a covered hole, and we're actually going to use our NATO money because I like this one better. I need a covered hole for food and uh, clothing and chemicals, so I probably need two of these. And I should probably use a refrigerated thing, um, but I may just make that a stationary one. Uh, so food, chemicals, electro, um, chemicals are the big ones. Let's send the refrigerator down here just so I buy it. Oh, what color can I make you? Oh, I can make you white. Nice, or silver. Um, and that should be fine. Then we can start delivering to this thing 
very, very soon, and I will be happy with that. Yeah, the refrigerators are just... It makes a lot more sense to have them park in the building instead of delivering the th three or so tons every, every once in a while. So we're going to try to do that. How are you guys doing? You do have what you need. Oh, yes. Um, we can use the same distribution office potentially to export clothing from here and to deliver clothing. Um, should I deliver clothing? No. That's what we're going to do. You. You can pick up clothing for right now from here. And we could also export it from right now, but load clothing. Yes, um, doesn't matter what percentage is it. It is, and then bring it here to just keep this one stocked. The game is supposed to prioritize the um, the local production over the custom cells. Always doesn't matter where it is in the range, but that's fine. So we have that one. Um, sure, storage percentage does not matter because all I want you to do is deliver it to here. And you want to be 50% full and then deliver to here. Also about 50% full should be fine. Um, the meat truck, you, instead of going out there half full all the time, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to give you a special route. You can go down here. Um, load, wait until loaded. And go to our store, shopping center. Wait until unloaded. Cool. Don't go home anymore. Perfect. Um, that should be our starting point because yeah, this truck is now picking up the clothing that we just created. 7,000, that is very hopeful because what is our current cost? A few hundred bucks a day. It's not the end of the world. It's just not great either, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, so let's see how that goes. How about you now? Can you, can you reach all the things? I don't know yet. Can you reach the thing? 129 meters. Ah, oh, it's so close. I think we have, yeah, we, we may just have to uh, finagle this around a little bit and that's fine. Um, you're producing waste, that's okay because we have a waste truck here that's responsible for you. So I hope that will work. What do you have? You have a normal waste waste um, truck there. So yeah, I think we are, once this is full and once we have something delivered here, we're pretty close. Uh, we still, what do we not have? Why is this thing not on? Missing power supply. You don't get power from here. And this thing doesn't get power because of why. Um, oh, there's still stuff over here that's not built yet. That is ridiculous. I thought we got past all of that. All right, the last one. Uh, we can't turn the, we can't turn the city on before we have power. That is stupid. We shouldn't do it. Um, electronic substation, medium voltage wire. Where, where is this? Why is this not done yet? Oh, it's all the way out here. Uh, we don't care about you. Go away. Nobody needs you. Um, I just need whoever is going out here to be quick. There you go. Yeah, we, we haven't built the, the farm yet, but that's that's not important. Okay, crane is here. Just need a couple workers. Workers are here. And now uh, power's on? Power's on. Do you have power? Power's on. And you are producing excellent. Uh, you have the things that you need. Okay. Couple more things. We're almost there. Once it's day, once it's daylight, we can actually see some workers doing something. Um, I will be a chicken and save just before we get workers in here. Um, because I, oh, I know that I'm not fully done yet. This thing is not done. Um, why is there still waste sitting here? I guess that guy was, was parked at the border house for too long. That's fine. So we're going to place another, oh. Oh, construction material is actually slower than I, I want it to be. So that's fine. I'm gonna come out here again. That's good. There's a the container. Yep. So we have three more loads because you cannot mix your materials. But the good thing is you get a little bit of money for some of that. So that's actually helpful. So while it's doing that, I should get our bus routes set up. Should I buy new buses or should I just use the buses that are currently importing people from the border. I think I should use new buses because here we actually want the biggest size buses that we have. 82 may be our winner. Um, total capacity of a way around? Nope. <laughs> I don't even know what it capacity it's thinking about when I click that button. Uh, oh well. Um, default. Cool. This one. Um, I need at least... Two to get started. I don't know how many we need when we're done with this, but two to get started. 
Uh, we're gonna do this without the um, end station at first. We're almost done though. Um, and send you in there. No, nope, stop it. Don't. That's the road depot on its line, and I don't want that. Uh, go here, and then go here and produce stuff. Cool. Very good. Then assign you to our next, to our, tra uh, to our bus. Very nice. Then tell you to do this thing, and you can go as well. Okay, they're moving. Um, fuel station is probably something that I need to build here soon, just not right now. So that is fine. How's this going? Two more trips. Okay, come on. I want to at least build this so I don't have to concentrate on this anymore before uh, before I assign the workers. Just something. Just just a pet peeve of mine. I would like to concentrate on one thing at a time. No, no, I don't. That's not how I play. Cool. It's finally done. Let's get the bigger end stop here. It looks the same. It's just bigger, which is all that's important. Um, sure, put you there. I still have to babysit you a little bit, but... Um, we will be in the city anyway. So, you. Nobody lives here. Nobody complains. Okay, you. We could do this, but we can't because we don't have recycling enabled. That looks fine. You. Do you, well, you. Do you have waste containers? Do you get waste from those two places, but not from here? You have a large container. That's actually good enough for me to not worry about that. Everyone else has waste connection. Cool. Um, you're definitely in walking range from there, and you're definitely in walking range from there for all the things that you care about. Besides the kindergarten. There's no kindergarten. I don't know how I missed that. You don't need a kindergarten right away. Um, but it's something that I will forget again if I don't plop it down right now. Um, if I can put this somewhere... If I can tuck you in somewhere, that would be great. If I can, I will survive. Could move the footpath just a little bit. No, I, I think the thing that's more in the way is the water tower right there. So it's not going to go there. We can totally fit you here. Um, that's not a terrible place. It's a little tight with the with the cinema, but um, someone's going to appreciate that. So that's what we're going to leave. Sure, put those two there. And now the the guys can build all these things. Build. Nope, don't, don't build the heater yet. We don't need the heater. But you can build that, you can build this, and yes. <sighs> Moment of truth. Place your bets. Are we gonna die? Do we have enough money to do what we need to do? Invite one full building. That's how we're gonna start. And then you're about drinking water. That's fine. We get the drinking water from out here once I actually walk there for the first time. And it's in range of the bus station, which is what we care about. Oh, things that I haven't done. <laughs> Reduce the workers to reasonable numbers. We don't need that many people there. We definitely don't need that many here. Most of our educated people should not be there. Definitely too many people here. Um, just a school, probably this many. And um, five is also too much for this. We're all about drinking water. That is fine. We will have workers out there very, very soon. Uh, you, just kindergarten and drinking water. Okay, let's invite more immigrants from here we haven't spent a lot of money on you yet so that is a good thing do we have any workers waiting here we won't have workers waiting anywhere until i missed another big thing <laughs> none of you said anything <laughs> i don't even know how i missed that uh four and a half 2.8 2.8 okay and two um lennon uh, Lennon is not here, and it should be here. So let's put one next to the bus station. You should have a pretty good range. Well, you should you have an okay range. Lennon really doesn't have a great range, but it has a range, so it's better than nothing. Let's put one up here, and then probably something um, here as well. Yes, I'm just going to have Lennon everywhere. They're very expensive to build, but very important to build because without them... The loyalty goes down to nothing. I knew I was forgetting something. I had to be forgetting something. There was no way we're going to be fine. Um, do we have anyone working here? Just pass or waiting is just passengers. So building is without power supply. That doesn't make sense. Where do you get your power from? From right there. Why is this without power? You should be fine. Building is without power supply. That doesn't make any sense. Is that because you were broken before and now you're just confused about things? 
Ah, uh, it happens. Things just happen sometimes. So we still don't have a lot of workers waiting here. That's not good. Let's turn this one down to less. Um, this one is probably fine. You're fine. You are still a little high. Uh, but people are unhappy. That makes sense. This one's also a little high. Five. I need some workers waiting there. Without that, we cannot staff our um, water water production line. Are you in range? Yes, you are in a range of water. So I'm just going to use you and have you walk to um, the the water water factory so we can get that done. Another thing that I should probably do is shorten the walking distance for this. So put you here, here, and connect you in there and give this one a connection that may help. Cool. How's it going so far? <laughs> Just a little hectic. <laughs> Just a little bit. And um, not as terrible as it could be, but definitely not as good as I want it to be. So there's that too. Let's add a couple more workers here so we can have shoppers um, actually working there. Once we have... Yeah, this, this is a problem. I don't know why this building, after reconstructing it, does not have power. That is something, that's a bug that has to be fixed, otherwise I'm really screwed here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.